Hi guys and welcome back here to Drone Emotion. Well, today we're back here once again with some very exciting news regarding a brand new update that has just been made available for the Autel Evo Light and Evo Light Plus. And in today's video we have all the details that you need to know. But before we get started with today's video, if you're new to the channel, welcome here. And then to keep up to date with any news regarding the drone world, you already know this place to come for all the latest updates and news. And also, we're currently in the road to 10,000 subscribers. So if you watch today's video and you're not subscribed yet, well, I invite you to go ahead and join Drone Motion family. So without any much further ado, let's just go ahead and dive right into today's video, which is going to be quite exciting. So. The Auto Libre Light has been a really good drone so far. It's had, it's had a couple issues here and there, but nothing major. But finally, Auto has given us a brand new update. So let's go ahead and take a look at everything that's going to be including. So there we have it, and this will be an update for the Evo Light series, so both the Evo Light and Evo Light Plus. The new features are going to be added 24, 25, 48, and 50 frames per second video options. This is quite big. In addition to that, we're also going to be having added manual focus features for light and light plus and also added photo stamp features in time and customized stamps note English app version only. Something to keep in mind. Now, there have also been some fox, some bug fix and optimization. For example, optimized continuous zoom, tap and hold the zoom button to activate. In addition to that, they, they have also fixed the camera focusing issue. In addition to that, the issue regarding some SD cards could not be formatted has also been fixed. Also, the flying backward issue in quick shot rocket mode has been fixed as well. And also, optimized gimbal performance in quick shot mode has also been added. Also, reduced the image transmission reconnection time that it was also a big of a, a, a big deal. And in addition to that, we're also having optimized the course angle in hyperlapse mode. And nevertheless, we also have the fixed album disorder issue. And last but not least, they have also fixed the app crashing issue while switching from a standard to super night in night mode. So those are all the brand new features, guys, that have been added to the Evo Light series. But in my opinion, I think that the biggest one are those frames per second settings. That is quite big. In my opinion, if you have an Evo Light or Evo Light Plus, I highly encourage you to go ahead and update your Evo Light or Evo Light Plus. So those are the news that we have from Autel so far, guys. If you have, if you have an Evo Light series drone, let us know down in the comment section down below your experience that you, have, if you, that you have had with it. Do you like it? Do you not like it? What's been so far? But that is going to be our wrap for today's video. Thanks so much for watching and see you tomorrow with a brand new video. This is Drone Emotion, signing out.